All right, it is November 16th, and now we're at our second location. <laughs> We've already been to the first location. Okay. So, we're gonna give the word today. The word is Luke chapter 15. So we're reading Luke chapter 15. And we're reading about the, we're reading about the prodigal son. Are there any prodigal sons around here? Any prodigal sons around here that need to get saved, healed, and set free and delivered? That's a good word. So we're so we're reading Luke chapter 15 here, and we're reading about the prodigal son. A certain man, and it's um, it's Luke chapter 15, and we're starting at verse 11 here. And then the Lord's going to give you a word after this word. Jesus, okay, and Jesus said, this is Jesus talking. We should listen when Jesus talks. It's important. A certain man had two sons. He had two sons. And the younger of the son said to his father, Father, Give me the portion of my goods. Give me my inheritance. That's what he said. Yep. That that is um, already issued to be mine. And he divided the inheritance, and he gave it to his son. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all of his things together. And he put it in a little bag. And he left his father's house. He forgot all about his father. That he, his father was making him good food every night. And tucking him in bed. He had a nice comfy bed. He forgot. And he, and he left his house. And in the sun, he took a journey. He left. He went on a journey into a far country. And there, and there he wasted his inheritance with riotous living he started spending his money on all things that don't matter mighty famine in the land and he began to be hungry he was wondering how he how he was gonna eat he didn't have any more money to buy any food he was starving so he went and he joined himself to a citizen in the country and he went with him into the fields he said Go in the fields and and go eat the husk from the pigs. Then you won't be hungry anymore. So 
what he said. That's what he said, so. So he went and he was filled, he filled up his belly with all the husks uh, out of the, out of the pig pen. And, and no man came to him. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants does my father have? And they're eating really good right now. But I'm eating all these husks. I remember when he cooked me dinner. He made for me some yummy food. I remember those days. That's what he's thinking. And... And when he came to himself, so all of a sudden the son came to himself. He was awakened. He, what happened when he was awakened, when he came to himself? Let's, let's read. Jesus will tell us what happens. And when he came to himself, he said, how many hired servants of my father's have they have bread enough to eat and I don't even have anything to eat and I'm thirsty and I have nothing to drink and I'm gonna perish that's what he said and I will go and arise and I will go to my father and I will say unto my father, I have sinned against you. I've sinned against heaven and before you. And I'm no more worthy to be your son. Just make me a servant so you can give me some food today. And, and the son arose and he started walking back home to his father's house. But when he was yet a far away, his father saw him and he had compassion. He ran over to his son. He wrapped his arms around his son and he kissed him. He said, oh, I love you. Look it, it's really you. You're finally home. I'm so glad I was, I was worried about you. I was never the same when you left. I've never been the same since. You're finally here. Bring it in, let me hold you, let me kiss you. What a wonderful son I have. He's finally home. his arms around him and he kissed him and hugged him and he said well done son you're finally home I missed you I love you and the son said unto his father father I have sinned against heaven and in your sight but I'm no more worthy to be called your son anymore. But the father said to his servants, come here. Look at my son's finally home. Bring me the best robe to put around him. Put a ring on his finger. Put some new shoes on his feet. He's alive. 
He's alive again. He was lost, but now he's found. And they begin to be happy. They were having a party. Yay! They're really excited. Now, his elder son was in the field. And as he came and he drew near, near to the house, he started hearing music. He was wondering, what's going on today? And he said unto, he called over a servant. And he said unto him, your brother is come home. He was found safe and sound. And your father, he killed the fatted calf. And we're having a party for him. Because he's received him unto himself again. That's what he says. He's calling you home. Come on, prodigals. Come on, my sons and my daughters. I have a ring and a robe and some new shoes. I have good food to feed you and I have a nice warm bed. I prepared a place for you. Yep. But his older brother was angry and, and he wanted to ask his father a few questions. So he was asking his father, what was he asking his father? He said, Father, I've been with you all these years. And I haven't done anything wrong against you. I've kept all of your commandments. I've never ran away and, and did riotous living like your son right here. He said... Now, why didn't you kill a fatted calf for me? How come you didn't throw a party for me? Well, his father said to him, this was his answer. And this is what the Lord's telling you today. The Lord's telling you this is what he's telling you. This is what he said to his son. He said, son, you're mine. You're bone of my bone and you're flesh of my flesh. I've loved you all your days. I'm going to love you forever and ever. I'm going to love you all the time. Yep. Everything that I have is yours. You know, you're my son. And everything I have is yours. And he was wondering, well, why didn't he kill the fatted calf? He said, he said, because your brother, he was dead. But now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. So we had to kill the fatty calf and have a party for him. But you, son, you're with me always. And everything I have is yours. See? Everything that your father has is yours. You'll never forget it.
That's the word of the Lord today.